Hello Northeasterly Knitters, Skanadigans here with another tutorial to help you out with your Northeasterly knitting. Today I'm going to show you how you can put your stitches on waist yarn without using a darning needle. I came up with this technique when I was knitting on my Northeasterly and I wanted to switch columns but I didn't have a darning needle with me. So this technique I just came up with on the fly and I hope it'll work for you as well. Um, Another thing that you can do if you are knitting northeasterly and want to switch columns is you can just leave your stitches on a double pointed needle. I've seen a lot of people doing this or a spare interchangeable cable. Anything works, but this is just one of the ways um, that I like to do it. I like to put my stitches on waist yarn because I know that it's not going to fall out or slip out off of the edge. Um, I know that I'm not going to puncture any of my bags with an extra set of Haya Haya Sharps because that has totally happened and I have totally stabbed myself in the side a few times. So let's get into the technique. So you're going to need a little waist yarn for this. I usually measure about 18 inches, uh, eyeball it, and I break it off. I know you're supposed to use scissors, but if we don't have a darning needle, we probably don't have scissors either. We just have our needles in our project. All right, so what you're going to do is you are going to insert your needle just like you're going to do a regular knit stitch, loop the yarn on, and do a regular knit stitch. But before you drop the left stitch off of the left needle, hold the tail of your waist yarn and then what you're going to do is pull that waist yarn through all the way through and drop that stitch off the needle there it is on the waist yarn i'll show you that again knit like normal but pull that long end through so you can use this technique if you find yourself lacking a darning needle, but you still want to put your stitches on waist yarn. All right, I'm gonna do a little speed up. When you get to the slip stitch in the middle, just do the same thing. Treat all stitches the same. You'll notice after a certain amount of time that you don't have to keep holding this tail, but I do like to pinch just as I'm pulling that yarn through. So with my left two fingers, I like to hold the stitches that are already on the waist yarn so I don't accidentally pull the waist yarn through. Speaking from experience, that's not the most fun thing to do. And a little bit closer for those of you who might need it. Just do all the knit stitches like normal, except pull that stitch through and drop your knitted into stitch off of the left needle. It does take a bit of time to do this. It's definitely not as quick as just using a darning needle, but like I said, this is really good for an instance where you don't have a darning needle. So it's by no, way, by no means a replacement for the technique, but very much useful when you need it. All right, there's my, nope, 
See, we almost lost it. Don't do that. I want to behave. All right. So as long as you don't accidentally pull the wrong side, there you have all of your stitches on waste yarn. And then you can go on to start the next column of your piece. Um, just a note, I am using beautiful Sweet Sparrow Yarns yarn. Um, here I have her Magpie Held Double and her Phoebe Base, which is a DK weight tweed. So fun to work with. And um, I am so happy that Julie was able to support me in writing this pattern and provided yarn support. So thank you so much, Julie. And I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please follow me here on YouTube, subscribe, give this video a like if you enjoyed it, and keep an eye out for more tutorials for Northeasterly, future patterns, podcasts, and vlogs coming up. Thank you so much for enjoying this tutorial. Happy knitting!